The neighbor plans were initially done 20 years ago. I happened to be around then. I actually was working in the Department of Neighborhoods at the time and they had a different process on how they actually got the plans done and the plans, we had always promised the citizens that the plans wouldn't sit on a shelf and collect dust. And so 10 years later, they decided to do some updates and we, we were able to um, get Rainier Beach and then of course Broadview, Bitter Lake, Haller Lake, or also known as BBH or the Lakes District. And so we're working um, there now. And so DPD is leading the planning process and the Department of Neighborhoods is leading the public outreach and engagement process. And we in DPD, Departmental Planning and Development, we're geeks. We're these code geeks. <laughs> and so we've understood that it really in order for us to successfully engage folks in the community and really have a dialogue with folks so we can hear what people really want in their communities, that we need to do that with um, the Department of Neighborhoods. And so we have this partnership in terms of leading this update process. I've lived here in Broadview uh, for 48 years in July. And uh, I love this neighborhood. The people are the asset for where we live. As a person involved with the Broadview Historical Society, uh, the Broadview librarian uh, was very supportive. Uh, and this was over 20 years ago. So I've been an avid supporter of the library ever since. I am in a parish that uh, serves people that live here. About 90% of the people can walk or bike, ride their bikes. I have these. People carry these around, say, I walk or I bike to the church. And so 90% probably that actually are in the neighborhood. We have had uh, problems in our parking lot becoming a lake from flooding and drainage problems for a long time. And uh, the congregations become some, sometimes frustrated about finding a solution and having the, the city assisting us for runoff and drainage. We've not always in the past been sure who to work with, so working with the the uh, neighborhood advisory has been a good way to get a better sense of the, the sweep of government it, it, close to home and to try to get a little further in figuring out what next steps have to be taken. And Broadview yeah. was where we got, where we found ourselves. We hadn't intended to come here, but we found a house that supported our family and we found a very friendly a bunch of neighbors. We have a dog, so we walk the dog you know, at least a couple times a day. And the best views in our neighborhood are really on 127th and either on 8th or 9th Avenue at those intersections. You find people and kids and families, especially in the summer, out there enjoying the sunsets. And, and they're standing in the street, they're sitting on the side of the street. I think that connecting streets is how people get neighborhoods associated with one another. A complete street is one, if you look at it, it's got a gutter, it's got a drain, it's got a curb, it's got a planting strip, and it's got a sidewalk. So we're finally seeing one come in for Linden Avenue North, but we went for all of the arterials in, in the Broadview Bitter Lake area. If the metro bus is on it, if a, if a school is on it, if a shopping center is on it, it's, 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 a main, it's a main arterial. It's really uh, a sad scene for those who are on scooters. If Richard's with me, he just lifts it up for me. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. Others learn to, I suppose, find ways. It's because this has been the, the, the driver for us living here in this condominium on, on Linden Avenue in the Bitter Lake Cumberland Village. We think that connecting streets is how people get neighborhoods associated with one another. And one of the pleasures of living out here is Carkey Park. But one thing that it definitely lacks is accessibility for anyone who wants to walk in the park. There's no sidewalks, there's no bus service. It's very dangerous actually to walk from this area down to the park. And that's one thing that we would really like to see change. So we are right now updating the neighborhood plan for Broadview, Bitter Lake, Haller Lake. And the neighborhood plan area is huge. It goes from Puget Sound all the way to 15th Avenue Northeast on the east side of I-5 from the city limits at 145th down to 105th. And um, that plan area is really huge and it's important, but right now as we do our updates, what we really want to focus in on is work that needs to be done that's critical right away and we want to find an area where we can focus that so that when we do the work it has it's all, there's enough density of our work that it can actually make a difference. Whereas if we do 
you know, a little bit here and a little bit there, nobody will ever see it. And so we're really focusing in on the urban village. We believe in the city that in order to get a neighborhood plan that is um, implementable, that we do want good public outreach and public engagement. And so a lot of times in this work we do, we talk about outreach being a one-way, you know, one-way communication. Basically the city coming into the community saying, we're going to do X, Y, and Z to you. When we talk about public engagement, we want a two-way conversation. And so we are engaging the NAC, um, the NAC members in this process. We have these meetings where we're going to have a series of large community meetings and we're working, like I said, in partnership with the NAC, with the Department of Planning Development and then with Department of Neighborhood staff on getting the word out so we can get as many citizens involved in this process as possible. I'm